Hello, this is Hakadabeen, and today we are going to be reading SCP-353. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go ahead and get right into this. I have no idea what this SCP's actual name is. I did not look that up. I just found through ooh, clicking on a random SCP multiple times. Item number, SCP-353. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. Biological hazard protocol. Redacted is to be maintained at all times. Biohazard threat level 4. All, all hazardous material suits, gloves, and oxygen supply will be re required to examine the subject. A disinfected shower and decontamination spray are and procedure before and after contact with SCP-343. I mean, 353. Sorry. The whole containment unit is to be kept underground at negative pressure and hermetically sealed at all times to prevent accidental cont contamination to the air outside area. In the case of containment breach, all affected personnel are to be placed in immediate biohazard level 4 or quarantine. Termination will be required in the possibility of an outbreak of one or more class 9 infectious agents. Subject should be fed three times a day as standard, as standard and provided with its minimal and required comfort items, a twin-sized bed, a pillow, and a blanket. Clothing in the form of disposable surgical scrubs are to be provided as needed. A request for items um, should otherwise be denied. Any outward signs of disease in the subject, such as rashes, boils, vomiting, or sickly pale or demeanor, should be reported with haste since the appearance of systems in SV3 53 means a willful effort on, their, on her part, subject is to be subdued and questioned. Should SCP-353 need to leave its containment facility for any reason, it is fitted with, explosive, with an explosive collar. Time release drug delivery device for dosage of euphoric substances and by as a containment seat, suit. Should SCP-353 seek breach containment, Emergency sterilization procedures up to and including incineration of the affected area are to be carried out. Description SCP-353 appears to be a normal human female, 26 years old, of average physical capacity, and average intelligence. Subject has the capacity to siphon infectious viral and bacterial agents from her environment, nurture and sort them within her body, and then redistribute them to devastating pandemic effect. SCP-353's mood directly affects the radiation of infections recorded, with increased emotional states leading to massively increased potency. SCP-353 seems to be immune from the symptoms of said infectious agents, but just as long as she is only passively storing them. Her active, willful attempts to nurture, manipulate, and change affected agents while they remain her in her body cause her to manifest symptoms ranging from mildly annoying to severe. Symptoms only last as long as she is actively inducing a change in the quantity or quality of an infectious agent, and thus rarely lasts longer than a few sec than a few hours. Examinations have shown that the subject is able to store almost any infection infectious bacterial or viral agents within her body, though she is only capable of changing agents that are able to survive naturally within the human body. As of the writing of this report, SCP-353's blood contains traces of over 1,000 different infectious agents, including human Im immunodeficiency virus, HIV, Ebola, Marbug, 67 different strains of the common cold, Herpes, Simplex A, E. coli, Chlora, Bubonic Plague, SARS, and, and Malaria. At least 30% of said infected agents were previously unknown to medical immunity and were possibly engineered by SCP-53 herself, making SCP-353 an invaluable resource. Does that mean that SCP-353 is actually in... China and is probably the cause of uh, COVID because I hear it's, it comes from the SARS disease. I think I heard that once. I don't remember wh where I heard that though. That might be that might not be accurate though. Anyway, addendum three fifty three zero one SCP three fifty three 
was originally encountered in Data Expunge, South Africa, where she seemed to be deliberately seeking to pick up strange of the Ebola virus. Foundation personnel pursued SCP-353 to address in, in Germany, where they determined she had, she had successfully contracted Marburg and redistributed said virus to Data Expunge. Subject was eventually subdued by physical means and taken to Foundation custody, custody with minimal loss of life. To date, her true identity is unknown, as she gives no name other than Vector and refuses to answer any questions about her past. SCP-353 claims to have traveled the Western world, seeking greater infections for her collection. When asked why, she would not give a response aside from, because I can. That's a pretty good reason. I'd probably do it. If I could, I probably would too. Addendum 35302. Initial testing has shown that she is adept at manipulating and changing infectious agents in the bodies of nearby subjects as she is at manipulating them within her own body. She seems to prefer to manipulate diseases within her body, however, as it grants her full access to the results of her manipulation. And furthermore, her ability to manipulate diseases in nearby subjects means that it's likely that she is equally capable of curing diseases and dispensing them. On a different note, personnel are reminded to refer to humanoid SCPs by a numerical as speed designation. Should SCP-353 refuse to cooperate, she is to be subdued and punished. We're not here to make her X-Men and, and villain fantasies come true. Doctor, I'm sorry driving. Addendum 353-03. Given that this girl is a walking time bomb of viruses, I recommend that we drag her straight to the table and give her a massive F dose of reverend and a redacted cocktail to flush her system, Dr. Blank. Addendum 35304. Flush her system? Hell no! Do you know what this girl. Did you, did you know that this girl somehow has the original strain of the 1918 Spanish flu? as well as a half dozen strains of viruses we've never even seen? The research possibilities alone. Dr. Blank. Addendum 35305. Limited research approved. 05 blank. Addendum 35306. The embrace of this d vector persona including the fixation on the color black for cosmetic purposes. Her might makes right attitude, her desire to infect rather than to cure, her disregard for human life also go towards extreme malignant narcissism and psychopathic tendencies. Her obvious pleasure in manipulating and controlling diseases within herself despite the often painful symptoms involved are also quite troubling. Requesting approval for a psychological examination, counseling, or therapy may be useful in in reducing her difficult demeanor. Dr. Glass. Well, I think Dr. Glass might be right. Anyway, that was SCP-353. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!